Welcome to Banished. We're gonna play for about an hour today. Um, we're just gonna explore this game and really enjoy it in depth. Uh, we do have a giveaway going on today. If we can get up to... Uh, oh crud, now I've got to click outside of that window and ruin everything. Okay, we're gonna be back in just a second, but if we can get up to... Uh, if we can get to 26 people watching today, uh, we'll go ahead and give away a copy of Bioshock Infinite. So tell your friends, get them hooked up here, uh, and if we get to that number, I'll just stop everything right then and I'll give away that copy of Bioshock Infinite. Alright, we're going to go ahead and just start a new game and hope we don't die. Uh, I've heard that we tend to die a lot in this game. Um, of course, we're going to call this something uh, absurd. Let's call it Fozzyville. <laughs> uh, and let's just leave all the terrain on its normal settings. Hmm. Oh, I love the bass in that song. That's so good. Uh, medium game begins with five families. Okay, I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> you guys ready to perish drastically during the winter months? This is going to be fantastic. I've heard a lot of people tell me that, like, this is really, really hard at first, and then you, like, get through the first couple of winters, and then you're like, okay, well, I, I basically beat the game. Why are we dropping frames? What is that? That is garbage. Now, well, I apologize for that, guys. I hope we don't drop any more, and if we begin to drop too many, I will... Hmm. So, I think this has something to do with loading. I have probably the worst hard drive on the market. Um, so, I think we're going to have to... Oh, hey, look! People! Okay, what do I do with people? Can I select them? No, they're all just going in there. Um, I can navigate by the corners of the screen. New tools, destruction... Okay, they want a home. They want a home. I want to pause this. Uh, tools and reports. Homes and housing. Let's build ourselves a home. Um, should we scout a little bit? Oh, heck no. Uh, do we just start with houses? How many houses can we build? Like, I don't see displays on any of that sort of stuff. Okay, well, let's just go for it then. Uh, let's go ahead and start simulating again. Do they, like, have to build the houses? Why are they not building houses? They're just like, give me a house. Okay, I actually think I need to do a, do a tutorial before I jump right into it. Um, let's go ahead and exit. Uh, no, that exits the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we are off to a good start today. Uh, how are you guys doing? So we've got about zero people in chat. That's, that's fantastic. If we get to 26, we're giving away Bioshock Infinite. Okay, tutorials. Definitely tutorials. Okay. We're doing the tutorials, because if we don't, <laughs> we're just going to die. And it's not going to be any fun at all. Dun da dun dun da dun dum da dun dun do dum dun da gun dun da dun dum Okay. Welcome to Banish. In this game you control a group of exiled travelers who decide to restart their lives in a new land. You'll help them survive. Click the next button. Anytime you can escape using those buttons. Uh okay. I actually move around with arrow keys, that's nice. That's a good thing for me to know. You can rotate the view. Oh, this place is gorgeous. Okay, this is actually pretty incredible art for an indie game. Uh, zoom in with insert and delete. Those are over here. Fantastic. Uh, the pitch of the camera. Really? I can do that too? Oh, that's so cool. This is fantastic. I think Smokey Koala just gave me a king brain. I don't know if that's a... No, that's just a crown. Okay. It probably means something, I'm just not very... <laughs> we just have to be perfectly honest. Why did I click? Why did I click? Okay. Coming back. 
Resuming. Alright, next. Now that you're familiar with the movement controls, uh, it's time to start playing. The people you control need three things to survive. Shelter, food, and a way to keep warm in the winter. Okay. Good. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah. That means they don't have a place to live. That's good. Alright, you can provide them with uh, F3. I'm probably going to be hotkeys man. And you just like throw it down. Placing a building will leave a footprint where it will be built. To get the townsfolk to start construction, you have to collect wood for the structure and stone for the foundation. Okay, cool. You can cut down trees and remove rocks from the landscape by using the destruction tools. Okay. So let's go ahead and use one of those destruction tools because we're going to have to... Oh my goodness. What is this mess? Okay. Alright. Um, suppose I want to... Uh, jeez. Okay. Using the mouse, click in one corner of the highlighted area and then drag. Oh my goodness. You can click and drag. Oh. That dude just, like, knocked that tree over for us. It wants me to do the whole thing, right? Okay. The townsfolk will uh, head to that area and start removing rocks and trees. While they're busy, you can place stockpile where the citizens will store logs, stone, iron, firewood. Okay, fantastic. There is way more to this game than I had thought there would be. Stockpile it here, kids. Alright, the townsfolk will move uh, the harvested rocks and trees to the stockpile. Once there, the materials will stockpile. The people will move logs and stone to construction locations. Excellent. Uh, while any townsperson can cut down a tree or move materials, some jobs require specialized workers. So then we can go ahead and say, alright, you need tools. Uh, go ahead and, oh my goodness, look at that. We're going to want some builders. That's fantastic. Okay. Excellent. And then we can do all this other stuff? That's so great. Oh my goodness. There's going to be so much stuff we can do later. Look, we can get clerics and physicians. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay. Oh, how do I rotate it? Alright, T and R. Good. Sometimes it takes people a while to do all the jobs that you've assigned, so you can just go ahead and say, go faster, children. Faster, faster, faster! Go so fast! Uh, I don't know what this means. Reserve of stone is low. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, I like the idea of this. This feels really good so far. Um, fantastic. Well, nothing is going to happen really until we like, in until we get further, right? So, hey look, you guys cleared stuff. Uh, can I ask you to, no, I can't do anything else. They're just going to like, do stuff. Okay, fantastic. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I'm, lo <laughs> I'm really loving this actually. And I don't think I expected that. Look, they just like build their houses. Oh, they're gonna be so happy living in houses. Okay, cool. Great. You've built houses for the townsfolk. That may have seemed like a lot of work for a few houses, but you don't know how to build anything. To build any structure, but now you know how to build anything. Okay, so the idea is now that you've built something, you can build anything. Um, to build any structure, place the building footprint. Uh, the citizens will clear the area and then collect enough resources to build the structure. As long as there are citizens assigned as builders, they'll take care of the rest. Alright, excellent. People are going to need food, otherwise they'll starve. They can acquire food in a variety of ways. They can hunt, gather fish, plant crops, grow orchards, or raise livestock. Man, so many options! Like, I, I'm kind of... that's incredible to me. Okay. If people are close to starving to death, the hunger icon will appear. Oh, this guy's going to starve to death. Alright, since the town is, ne town is near a river, let's go ahead and start with the fishing dock. Alright. Fantastic. Twice that way. Excellent. 
then we're gonna need people to be fishermen. Let's go ahead and make, uh, yeah, like all of them fishermen. All right, next. Any window can be clicked from the title bar. Uh, any window in the game can be moved around uh, if you grab a hold. Oh, that is fantastic. That's, I don't know, a lot of games miss stuff like that. All right. Excellent. Um, and you can close it pressing the X button. Fantastic again. Go ahead and speed this game right up. Build me a dock. Why are you not building dock? You very need to build dock. So eat food can have. What not? Alright, if you build a road, people will move slightly faster from place to place. Okay. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a road. Because they really should get from their homes to the dock as fast as possible if we're going to be fishing. Oh, what am I building? I'm sorry, I just started clicking buttons. Uh, okay, so this shows us how much food we have. These are all our menus and the button here. We just opened up and uh, look at that. Random things that we can do. Um, you can see the amount of food, construction materials, firewood, clothing, and tools. You can also see current population, average health, and happiness as well as the current weather, which is kind of miserable right now. Alright, early summer, it's a good time. Average health, average happiness, we're rocking it. Okay, cool. Alright. Now I can collect us. Choose a storage barn. Fantastic. Great place for us to store things. Uh, if you look at the overview tool, you can see that there aren't enough logs to build the storage barn. Uh-oh, so we need to cut down more logs then. Next, go here, cut me some wood, cut me all the wood, if at all possible. Uh, go ahead and just store the lumber uh, here. And townspeople are in danger of freezing to death. Okay. Um, if they're overly cold, they'll go to the warmest building they can find. Uh, mm -hmm. So we need firewood as well. Alright, and this will probably also collect firewood for us. Is that what we're learning? Fantastic. Okay. Full speed. Looks like we have too many citizens right now. Uh, so we should really just invent a plague, or, better yet, uh, build another house. But, you know, which is really easier, right? I think we're going to be out of stone soon, but the tutorial didn't ask us to do that, so I don't think we need to do that. Man! I'm... I'm a music guy, that's something maybe you guys should know. I think the music in this game is pretty fantastic. I'm really enjoying it so far. So it looks like the first thing to do is get uh, our reserves set up, then have them start on harvesting things, uh, and then we'll go ahead and throw down homes for everybody. Afterward we'll start building all the things you need. Yeah. Uh, this is just the tutorial, so they probably can't die, but in the future, we're definitely going to do that. Um, in fact, right now, it won't even let me touch those things. So, in the future, we'll totally, we'll totally listen to Elkaran's advice. Um, hey, thanks for being with us, by the way, way Elkaran. Appreciate having you guys. I'm sure you can see in chat, we are doing a giveaway if we get to 26 viewers, and at that point in time, we'll go ahead and pause the simulation, and we'll give us some stuff, so, you know. All the hype! Let's get going! Alright, you can always assign workers by using the professional tools, but you can ch also change the number of workers when examining the detail of the structure. Okay, so if I'm like, we need more woodcutters, let's just straight up get us some more woodcutters. Fantastic, and then that's somebody who'll just cut wood all the time. That's great. <laughs> I love the crying face, that's, that's really cute. Up here, probably, in chat. Um, okay. A worker will now start producing firewood. He or she will move logs from stockpiles and cut them into firewood so we don't freeze to death. That's fantastic. I'm so excited about not dying. 
All right, remove structures. Uh, are we removing this structure? The workers will remove the inventory from or the inventory from the cart, then move it into the storage barn. You can use the time tools to change the speed of the game to your liking. Once the cart has been removed, the tutorial will continue. Okay, excellent. So it just says speed up until we're done with the tutorial. All right. Fantastic. With some maintenance and a little luck, a town like this will survive for many years. The children will grow up and become workers and have children of their own. New houses can be built and the town can continue to expand. Alright. And if I need help knowing how to do things, we can go here. Okay. Awesome. Well, maybe that'll work. Maybe it won't. Maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to go ahead and quit the tutorial. And now we're going to practice dying. <laughs> See, I'm actually gonna click over here for a bit. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just load into a new game. Um, we're gonna go ahead like we had tried a second ago and say we're in Fozzieville. Or actually, let's take suggestions from chat. Names. Give me sweet names for a town. Because Fozzieville sucks and I know it. I'm thinking maybe like. I don't know, I want something kind of organic, you know, but like with absurd letters. And since we have snowy climate, maybe we can go something like Norwegian, throw an umlau in there. I don't know how to type an umlau. Let's not do that. Um, I'm thinking like... Dukes... Dukesern. Okay, that's terrible. Chat has to have better ideas than that. Um... There we go. Edrel. Okay. Loading into Edrel. I didn't get chat suggestions, so we just went with it. Um, and I know there's a delay in everything, but there's no reason to wait at that screen forever, right? Right? Of course, right. Mm, I'm really enjoying Banish so far. I think, though, that I'm probably going to die miserably. That is definitely my first, my first take of this. I... I see very little chance that we're going to live. How are you guys doing? How's uh how's chat hanging out today? Looks like we got three people here. That's pretty awesome. Pretty sweet. Um I I'm just gonna say it again in case anybody walked in in between. Uh if we get twenty six people currently watching, I'll stop everything and I'll give away a copy of Bioshock Infinite. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead. You just have to be strategic. Okay. Kawaii Fujio, Fujio, I need you to give me more than strategic. Just give me a little bit more information than that. We're going to go ahead and pause everything while I think about... Okay, the first thing we need to build is a stockpile, right? Is that... Okay, stockpile. Um... We don't want the stockpile to be... Oh, we have a stockpile. What am I thinking? Okay, that's great. We have a stockpile. Let's go ahead and just build some homes. Um, if we put the homes near the water, the water's where we're going to get our first source of food, right? So I think if we... Uh, we'll go ahead and put our homes close enough here. We'll throw a dock out and we'll work on food first, right? <laughs> Yeah, I've heard that from a lot of people, but I heard like once you get... Okay, so in, Kawaii Fujio in chat said, uh, and he capitalized some things for me that fixed it up, uh, said that, you know, if you... that he usually dies after six or seven. What I've heard is like you get to a point where you kind of stabilize after 10, 15 years, and then it becomes reasonable. Um, so our goal is to beat Kawaii Fujio's... Uh, current best. Is it okay if I make you the uh, the guy we're competing against, bro? Okay. We'll go ahead and have all of those facing that way. Um, what's my rotate button again? Can I... Which one's rotate? Excellent. Alright, so we've got houses that we're starting, um, and we've got enough stuff. Let's just go ahead and... 
I'm leaving everything on pause because I don't want these people like st Oh! My bad! I, I call everybody bro. I apologize. Well, uh... R. Man. Missing the R. Clearly don't know what the R is. It's... I don't know, for Twitch though it's kinda safe to be like... Dude, because evidently 70 plus percent of watchers are... Our guys. So I apologize. Crop field, orchard, just fishing docket. Oh, is that too steep of an incline for this? Did I just mess up horribly? Okay, let's just rotate it. There we go. So it's not it's not incorrect. Okay, wonderful. Oh, R to rotate. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm having a pretty good day. Alright, and then let's do a hunting cabin down here. Because it seems like food is the first thing we're going to struggle with. Um, and then we'll put roads up and we'll say, like, go ahead and start crap, guys. Uh-oh. No, I... I literally just did that. Alright, well, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Alright, we're launching right into this game. Work, my minions, work! No, seriously. Oh, I have to take it off pause, too. Okay. And I need some workers to do specific things, right? Which is the skill tab? Is that... You show statistics in general. Okay, awesome. Uh, and we're going to need some people to clear crap when we get there. Uh, we need lots of builders right now. Um, fantastic. And then let's clear some territory while we're at it, huh? We're going to need stone. Yeah, my chat lag is pretty bad. Okay, next thing to do is pause the game so I don't make more mistakes. Fantastic. Um, looks like we're going to need the other auxiliary storage units. We want a storage barn. Let's just drop this puppy here. I faced it the wrong way. Is there a way to unplant that? Or did I just make a grave error? Oh, whatever. We'll just build it that way. Not a problem. But dum bum bum, di dum dum. Okay, and we want we have a stockpile. What's the woodcutter one? Homes and housing. Well, okay, it provides water for putting out fires. Okay. There we go, resource. Alright. You can actually hit the button. Well, I think you can. Alright. For clearing things, this one here? Yeah, got it. Okay. Fantastic. That is how we want to do it. All right, and then we want. Okay, well. All right, I think that's everything we need now. Let's go ahead and just run the game and see how it works. Okay, and actually, we need to do this while we're at it. Let's go ahead and give ourselves couple of fishermen so we don't starve, maybe more even, um, and hunters. Okay, cool. Looks good to me, and we'll change that in just a minute once we get some other stuff up. You think I need more fishing thingies? Is that, oh yeah, that's probably more than we can currently handle, huh? That is, man, I don't remember where any of these things are. Okay, there we go. Fish thingy. Fish thingy me.
and let's build some more roads while we're at it, eh? <laughs> Thanks for all the help, Kwai. I really appreciate the help. <laughs> because this is definitely a game that I could die at mercilessly. Okay, and I think we should let you guys know, um, the whole point behind all of this is for me to... Uh, ch ch fantastic is for me to when I get done say okay this is what I think this game is worth um that's kinda what I do on my channel I play new weirdish games this one of course doesn't really fit into that um man Koi I like you you're, you're a good human being I appreciate that um yeah so what I do with my channel is I play new kinda weird off the wall games this one doesn't really apply in that category but some do Yeah, I've heard this is a really hard game. From a lot of people, I've heard this is a really hard game. Okay, we probably don't need that many builders. Let's go ahead and go down two. We'll go up two woodcutters. No, actually, we need still we still need builders, don't we? Well, can we we don't need woodcutters right now because we don't have a place to put it. Okay, all right, play. Go, go, go. Like, build stuff so much. Build so much stuff, guys. Do we have this whole area cleared up here? Did we do that? Okay. Fantastic. Let's look for a place with some stone quick. Because we definitely gonna... Yeah, I know we don't have any wood yet, but I had people out clearing it, and now we just need more wood. Um, we actually need more homes, don't we? Okay, stop everything. I need most of you to come out here and just clear this whole... That is not the right button. Clear this whole territory. Hey man, how's it going? It's good to have you. The Smoky Koala. Not a Smoky Koala, by the way. The Smoky Koala. Okay, actually, I want you guys to clear this too, very specifically. It's the stone we're gonna need. Um, and we need more homes, right? How many people do we have who are homeless? Does it tell us that? Is that a stat we get? Okay, let's go ahead and let's just run the simulation. Let's hope we don't die miserably. What does the question mark mean? Oh, okay. So Smoky Qual is asking about game development. Um, right now, I'm currently I'm making a video game with a large group of people, programmers, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and we are. We're probably about 10% of the way into the project right now. Um, I just barely switched the animation method um, because I didn't really have people who like who could do art. Um, so we switched to a clay animation style, and it's been really good. Um, the feedback has been really good on that. If you want to check it out, it's called Dissonance Shattered. The Facebook page has the most information. If you look for Dissonance Shattered on Facebook, you'll get the most information possible. Um, are we dying? We're dying. I should probably pull up our stats on how dead we are. Looks like Edrel is not dying, contrary to my current belief. Um, but that's probably because we're in early summer. <laughs> uh, okay. We need lots and lots of stone. Okay, let's clear more territory, guys. Seriously, just give us the stone. Alright. Oh, fantastic. We're gonna have a stockpile so we can keep food places now. I really should have more people working on building things, shouldn't I? Okay, like that. That should keep us in food and stuff. Alright. Looks like we can build in the next place. And then we'll start getting woodcutters up. The question mark is because you have people doing nothing. Like, you put them to work? Yeah. I, I get myself IDK if you get it. Okay, they're like, yeah, I'm here, but like... Okay, and now... 
what it's telling me is I have no one cutting wood. So I actually think I want two woodcutters, and uh, then we'll get people in. So that's nice, actually, that it gives us the question mark. Um, I'm going to look for more stone. We're going to clear that. Because I feel like we're going to run out of stone first. Actually, we're doing fine on stone. Let's just clear a large chunk of trees, huh? And my computer's lagging. Alright, and go! Okay, now do we need more houses? How do I find out if we need more houses? We have tons of food, that's great. Um, I think I need another one of these things. I... You're, you're right about the wood, huh? I have a little bit of wood, I, now. Unlike several seconds ago. Oh, cool. Yeah, just tell me what you think about it. The, uh... If you look on the Dissonant Shattered Facebook page, there are, uh... I don't know. People have responded really well to the clay versions of things. So we're actually going to do everything in stop animation, and it, it looks really promising for us. I'm really pretty excited about it. We do have more wood now. That's a good thing. Um, is there another... Shows an overhead map, shows log of events, shows general statistics on the town. That's the one I have open, right? Alright. I honestly predict that we're just gonna die, because I have no idea what's going on. But I do have the difficulty set to medium, which is a little bit easier than usual. When you build houses, it's to grow your population. At a certain point, your population stops developing because they don't have a place to house, so I do want more houses. Now. Oh, I have houses. I have place for houses. They still have builders. I have five builders. Are they... Well, the real problem is that we just haven't had materials until now, huh? Stop animation. Dude, believe it or not, it's going to be less tedious than, uh, than drawing everything out by hand was or conceptually was. Okay. If we make it through the first year, we'll be very happy. We're in late autumn. We might freeze. Everybody has a home, though, right? That guy doesn't have a home. That guy's screwed. We have homes, though. We just need to build them. Get off your lazy butts and build some houses, guys. Jeez. Okay, good. Now they're building houses. We probably won't freeze all the way to death. Okay. I think we're good on food. Right now we have... Oh, but it's winter, huh? <laughs> Are we gonna... We're gonna die! Um... Look, guys, seriously, don't work so much about that. Just get us lots of fish and hunt, and I hope we don't die. It comes to winter and all of a sudden our food supply is like gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're starving. Oh good, now we're not starving. <sighs> I do want a little bit of a road here. Road is this one. We're gonna want just a little bit of road. A little bit of road. Okay. We have places for everybody to live. We don't have enough food. We are consistently running out of food. Um, let's go down a hunter and up a fisherman. Uh, and by up a fisherman, I just mean up a fisherman. There we go. Man, that sounds kind of dirty if you think about it. So I implore you all to not think about it. Go ahead and keep clearing crud for me, guys. Um, and we need food. We have wood. That's good. Wood, wood, good, good. We're running out of stone. We have food. That's great. Okay. That's probably about the right town size, right? I don't think many more houses than that are going to be good. Six is good. Nobody's out of homes. 
So let's just work on food. I think food is probably the most important thing right now. Um, which means we build... Uh, build more... Gosh dang it, why can't I... Food, there we go. Hey, let's let's actually start, like, sowing crops, guys. How do you feel about being an agrarian? Oh, <laughs> thanks, I appreciate that, man. We're gonna go ahead and just, uh, agrarian, whatever that. Farmer? It means we need more farmers. Let's take one off fishermen, one off builders, two on farmers. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you uh, saying so, Smoky Koala. I've been working on it recently, um, and it's something that I think, oh, that's fantastic. Look, we're going to have a huge field right here, and none of us are going to starve. Okay. Uh, I think down another builder and up another farmer is good, right? Is that... So what does this sign mean? Can you guys tell me what this sign means? And this one. Gosh dang it. Maybe I should have the help thing open. It tells me... Oh, I have to select the... How do I select what... Oh, alright, stop everything. How do I select which crop I want to plant? Yeah, that seems like a great way to, like, have me just wind up dead, huh? Oops. How do I... I want to... Um, is there like a select there is okay that's great um yeah so we can do corn or wheat right and then work it okay awesome so on the other one we'll do corn is it too it's not too late in the spring for this that's fantastic all right here we're going to go ahead and do did we do corn or wheat on the last one Alright, I guess I'm ahead of you, Kawaii, but I appreciate it. Um, and then work it. Work it, work it. Okay, so we can have four citizens on that one. Uh, zero out of five. Zero out of six, zero out of three. I don't know what that means. Okay, that's fun. Alright, so, we got them selected, right? Are we, we're not gonna, we've got plenty of crud stock, huh? I just made them unwork, is that what I did? <sighs> okay, I get it now. Alright, that's fantastic. <laughs> yes, I want you to, uh, do wheat, and then not, not actually do wheat. Okay, and actually I lied, I want corn there, and I want wheat here. Okay. That's right. Everything is good. Okay. Excellent. So we're gonna just go for it. That's that's enough to do this, right? And then people are out of stuff to do, so I really should just be like, and get me all this crap. Man, looks like Edrel might live through another year. The first year was kind of rough, not going to lie. How many hunters can I have uh, in my hunting cabin? Three of three? Okay, so four hunters is actually not valuable. But more farmers is valuable, right? Um, and do I have the right number of fishermen while we're at it? And I like that, that aesthetic where things... Okay, so I'm going to have three of four here and uh, three of four here. So I actually should have six... I, I can have eight total people doing that, right? Which is fine, I mean, I have room to grow, and that's good. Oh, look, we're gonna have food to eat. Oh, so nice. Okay, what is this doing? Um, inventory, four logs, fuel limit. Are we at our fuel limit? Is that what's going on? Okay, and you can go fish now. Alright. I'm gonna need another stock barn, aren't I? That's probably a good idea. Um, that's here. I actually think we're going to just build two of them while we're at it. 
Um, I'm gonna pull somebody off fishing and put them on building. And then I'm going to ask people to just keep clearing crap. Okay, so that is what that means. That means I can pull all my woodcutters off of it then, right? Oh, or do I need more places to stockpile fuel? Do I need more places to stockpile fuel? Is that a better idea? Oh, so, okay, let me just cancel one of these puppies then. Um, by which I mean actually just remove it. How do I tell it to quit being? Is it too late once I've said build it? Okay, no, that's fine. I can just say don't work on it right now. And just have the place... I put a fuel limit on it? Well, don't do that. We can put it all into fuel. Okay, good. Keep working. Is there a way to take off the fuel limit altogether? No, it's just, okay, well that's cool. Yeah, so that should just keep me busy the whole time. Um, we have potential for lots of food. 6% full. Okay, we really don't need another barn, do we? Leather, okay, we should start working on the slash on the house under. Slash on the house. No, I said don't work on it. You punks. Slash on the house. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Slash on oh, okay, I get it. Down here. Under is down here. Alright, fantastic. Um, slash on the house. There. This. Just remove this structure. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Kawhi. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna save us. You're gonna save our whole world. Okay. I think we should get like some herbalists, some med medicine people. Do we need a well? Probably not. Sounds about like the way I'm gonna build things. Okay, I don't need this? Alright, let's do it. I tend to be the guy who ignores whatever you tell me. Um in most games, so just go ahead and fantastic. Alright. Why do I not have things going on here? What's food limit? Will increase the food limit or No, it's just it's doing exactly what it can and should be doing, isn't it? They've just harvested it. Okay, that's good. That's great. Um let's go ahead and build I just think we should build more of these uh these things. A schoolhouse? No, we want health because it's hospital. Uh, do we want a hospital? Oh, I don't know if I activated disaster. Either way, we'll have a well. It didn't seem to be too resource heavy. Town hall. A chapel. We, we're gonna need health. Do I need to start with... I can just build a hospital, right? That's not a bad thing if I just build a hospital. <laughs> Is it a bad thing if I... Oh! <laughs> well, I'm just looking at our health, trying to figure out... How to... Alright, well... We stockpiled plenty of food and things for winter. I think we're gonna be fine. We don't have builders either, so these things are actually never going to get built. Um, which honestly means that I can just... Yeah, there we go. Not a problem. It's because your population is growing old. Oh, okay. Alright, that makes sense. Does that mean we need more houses to like get fresh population in? Or is it just fine? I think we need more houses. I think we can handle more people living here now. It's okay if we grow our population, right? That's a that's a thing we can do.
Oh, we have a lot of laborers not doing anything. Right, that's because they were all, uh... Actually, you know what? We can do this, just put them back on... Uh... Good heck, where are they? Farmers? No! That's because we had population grow! Okay, let's have our population grow then. Um, we should build a, uh, like, cattle ranch. <laughs> Over here, I think this would be a great place for it. Um, let's go ahead and work on a pasture. Ooh, ooh, that is a spring frost that I did not want. Pasture here, accomplished. Low on stone. That's because I haven't told them to collect resources for like ever. Okay, there was a big patch of stone over here. Okay, and then uh, back to this, I want, that's fantastic, I want two herdsmen, uh, and we can do up to eight fishermen, right? There's one woodcutter, so much food, we're rocking it guys, oh my goodness. Oh, so <laughs> that means I need animals. Oh, well, iron's cool, right? Iron's a good thing. Okay, cool. Iron's not gonna hurt us. <laughs> I appreciate it, Kawhi. You're like the tutorial I never had. That's stone. stone. Um, and then here's some more stone. Okay, good. We're doing fine on food, we're doing poorly on wood and stone. Uh, so the next thing I need to do is get a merchant, it sounds like. Is that true? Trading post. Holy crap, that takes some room. Well, it's a good thing I've got room for it. Why is the... Oh, okay. That's cool. We needed wood anyway, but that's really good information. Okay, can you tell me why this... can't be placed here? Oh! The trading post goes on water! Okay. That makes sense. Kinda. In a weird kind of way. A straight enough chunk of water for this? Am I gonna have to try the other side? Thank you. I appreciate all the help, Kwai. And also, I apologize if I'm just butchering your name. There we go. Wonderful. <laughs> we got a trading post coming, guys. Oh, somebody died during childbirth. Dang. Life sucked. Does that mean I need a cemetery? No. It's... Yeah, that thing was rough to find the right place for, but I think we found it. So long as I can just keep collecting our resources. Get us some more stone. This is stone, right? Not iron. Oh, hey, look, a mountain. All right, what am I going to do with all the iron we've collected? And do I need a bigger stockpile? I guess I can just ask the stockpile, right? Yeah, I think we should do another stockpile. We'll just expand this one. That's this, right? This is stockpile. Okay, cool. Built more stockpile. Okay, well, now it's running out. Uh, let's go clear stuff to the north because it's closer, guys. 
Oh, I'm running low on weapons, huh? Can they walk across that water or do I have to build a bridge to it? Or are they going to like walk all the way out and around? They're going to walk all the way out and around. Okay, time for blacksmith. Give me a blacksmith. Those are not blacksmiths. Feels like it should be here, right? That's not it though. Maybe it is. Mark it. See, that would be a good way for us to, uh, holy crap, it takes up a ton of room, too. Uh, that was the wrong button. Okay. Let's go ahead and build ourselves some roads. Fantastic. We're getting into autumn. I have somebody who's not doing something right now. I'm a noob. I have to build a bridge for it. Okay. Well, it's probably not worth it right now just for resources. It would be better for them to walk down here. Do I... Okay, hold on, what does this mean? Okay, no, we're good. Okay, what does it mean? Materials required... Okay, so I'm out of wood again. Alright, but I do have people collecting wood right now, right? That's something we're doing? Yeah, that's something we're doing, good. Temperature's 36. Looks like we might live through this. Have we made it through two years? I feel like we've made it through two years. That's pretty good, right? Is that... It's worth talking about, at least. I mean, not everybody makes it through two years. Okay, let's go ahead and build a blacksmith. That's what we were on when I forgot about it. Tunnel. Storage markets. Trade. Production, right? What is this? Town services? Where's the... I honestly don't remember where this is. Market. Stockpile. Storage barn. Trading post. That's... Boarding house. Huh, cool. Okay, that's all. Just a place to live. We're out of stone again. Why on earth are we out of stone? Didn't you guys, like, collect stone? Is there a look at my... Okay, that's iron. I don't need iron right now. That's stone. And we'll take the wood around it, too, while we're at it. Because we are going to be out of wood eventually. <laughs> Man, we're so low on resources. I clearly am not very good at this. There's a reason I don't play games like StarCraft very often or ever on stream. <laughs> it's because I suck at that sort of thing. <clears throat> Fantastic! Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Town services. Okay, I'm still looking for a blacksmith. Wait. School. Well. Um, blacksmith. Gosh dang it. Why did that take so long to find? And then we're gonna go ahead and build a road there. Okay, fantastic. Oh, hey, Katie, how's it going? We got Crossed Eagle. I did it! I found the blacksmith! <laughs> so good at this game! Oh, Banished can't even handle my fury! <laughs> well, the seasons change really fast because I have it on, like, ultra-fast settings. Looks like we have all the food we need, which is really good. Um, they're gonna be planting crops again. That's good. 
We don't have any enough stuff on the market. You guys can hear me beatboxing, that's embarrassing. I'm really bad at that. It's just something I do when I think about stuff. Alright, here we go. And that's actually not seasons changing, I would bet, Katie, that you're seeing. Because um, we're actually still in early spring, that's just weather conditions. Okay, alright. Thanks for the warning. Market? I. Uh, Freak. Gone and been killed. We'll put a market there later, though. We're gonna blacksmith so much. Alright, so why do I need weapons? Is that a. <laughs> oh, it's like Utah. <laughs> what, they all live in wooden houses? I don't know what. I don't understand the, the Utah part of things. Or the banished part, where they're like started a whole civilization off of just being kicked out. I have more laborers! Fantastic! Let's put them into... Uh... Farming? I don't know. We don't need herdsmen. What am I doing? Uh... We honestly should just... We should have them all blacksmithing. That's what we should do. Let's put them all on building for now. Um... And by building, I mean probably resource collection. Alright. Utah's- oh yeah, okay. I get it. Um, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I live in Idaho, and man, the weather has been so nice this year. It's like, th we don't even have snow on the ground and it's February. It's absurd how nice it is. Hey, we have six people watching right now, which means we've climbed a lot, and I'm going to take a little break and tell you guys uh, about the giveaway we're doing today. Um, if we can get up to 26 viewers today... Uh, at any given time, I will stop the stream right then, and I will give away uh, Bioshock Infinite, a copy of Bioshock Infinite. We got up to seven. Uh, if we uh, if we can get that all the way to 26, I'm giving away Bioshock Infinite. Now right, let's get back to Banished. Boom. So we've been going for about an hour. We're about. I, I said I'd go for an hour today. Yeah, Idaho is amazing. Idaho also has. What on earth are all these? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Katie, you guys uh, are getting the rough end of the weather stick. Why are they all, like, hammering? Okay. Let's go ahead and... It's like, we need tons more resources. Are we not collecting enough resources? Just give me all the resources, okay? Seriously, just... Resource living crud out of this place. Am I doing this wrong? Why are we still like out of resources? Do I have too many people like keeping us alive with food and stuff? Oh really? It's because I'm out of weapons. Oh, that's what they're saying. They're like, hey, we need weapons. Seriously, weapons. No. 23% complete. Can I say, like, this is top priority? Iron. Like, we have all that. We need more stone. Oh, hey, look. A little bit of stone up here. This is the one I want you guys to gather. Really. Just this little bit. I can't do anything. They're like... Like, seriously, you told us to go out here and do stuff, and now we can't do stuff. <laughs> Did I die? Is that what just happened? Feeling like I might have just died, actually. Because they're all saying we're out of tools. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is kind of like Civilization, but real time, and, uh... <laughs> Actually, I think we might have just lost to a lack of tools, because nobody can do anything, right? Do I have something else they're trying to build somewhere? This? This? Uh, we're actually going to just kill that, because we need stone. <sighs> okay. 
Can they not harvest stone? <laughs> Tools! That's the damn one! <laughs> Yeah, tools. You've been like, quote, weapons. I understand now. So we're gonna die, aren't we? Because we don't have tools. We're, we're literally going to die because we don't have tools. <sighs> Darn it. Because they can't, they can, they can harvest the stone. They just probably can't do it as quickly, because they're harvesting it with their hands. But, in other news, that's how manly my civilization is. They harvest the stone from the ground with their bare hands. Okay, let's just... Stone. Oh, fantastic. This stone's close, too. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I want all of the stone. Just, I, I actually can't take that stone, I guess, but... We're not dying right now. We're not dead yet. Yeah. Well, we could run out of food. Um, we legitimately could run out of food. I'm betting that's how we end today's stream. We starve to death because we can't collect things as quickly as we want. Alright, everybody that's in chat, I want to say, hey, what's up, how's it going? Looks like we have seven viewers right now. Um, you guys just want to post something. Tell me what you're doing today. Tell me how you guys are hanging out. How you guys are holding up. In other news, we're going to have a blacksmith in like a year and a half if we live through this winter. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's interesting how, like, in our uh, American slash European thought process, we don't think about, and maybe it's more American than European, I don't want to speak for Europeans when I don't, like, actually know. Um, but, it says four viewers for you. Well, oh, that's because I just lost three of them. <laughs> um, so... It's interesting we don't think about tools being, like, something that we miss, or, you know, the ability to get food from the ground, because, like, when we think about people dying uh, due to starvation, we think about them just not having enough money for it, not, like, physically being unable to connect with the resource itself. Um, and I think maybe that's something we need to be aware of for the whole world. It's just that sometimes people are... Like, people are legitimately dying because they don't have access to food. That's something that happens in the world today. So, uh, instead of giving me money, go ahead and let's find a way to get some food for people who don't have some. Go donate your time at a, a soup kitchen. That'd be a great thing to do today. We're gonna die, by the way. Like, I, I can see no way that we live through this at this point. Because we are very low on food. I mean, it hasn't said that we're low on food, but... We're basically going to die. Banished is making you a genius. Yeah, well, I think that's an important thing about video games, actually. And we're, we're going to wind down real quick here, because I'm 90% sure that without tools we're dead. Um, so I'm just going to let this play out, and we'll kind of play into it. Um, I'm pretty sure that... So here's one thing I think and I believe about video games. If they're not actually teaching something, uh, then they're not worth very much as a video game. Um, and sometimes you have to look for it, but sometimes that stuff just shows itself, right? Um, in this case, Banished taught me something about, like, the way I think about the world. But in other cases, I... Okay, I have to step back a few steps. Um, I believe that video games are, uh, are very... Like, there's something that you have to... You have to be aware they're teaching you at all times, right? When you develop a video game, you think about the way you're teaching things to your players. Um, what does Pong teach us? Pong teaches uh, reactions, right? So you can do this and this and this, and then it teaches you also that there's a certain extent uh, that your reactions will run out and you will not be able to keep up with it. You will lose Pong at a certain point if you're playing against a computer because it just goes faster than you can comprehend. Um, some of those, like first-person shooters, for example, 
they teach uh, very specific skills about uh, spatial awareness. People who play first-person shooters are on average much more aware of the area around them outside of the game, believe it or not. Um, and they can think of things uh, quicker, they can make decisions about things quicker because they've been trained on that, because the video game has actually trained them in that. Banished has helped me think about things in a different way, and that alone is one reason why it's really good. We just lost a bunch of viewers, so I must have gone on too long. Um, <laughs> thank you, I really appreciate it, Kawhi. Um, so video games, uh, some people say they're a waste of time, and I don't believe that. I think that you just need to be aware of what they're doing to you. You need to be aware of what they're teaching you, and you want to make sure that that thing that it's teaching you is something you want to learn. Um, we might have tools eventually, and we might not die. Uh, but either way, we did hit our hour, and that's what we're going for today. We got up to 10 viewers, which is the best I've had on my channel so far. Maybe I shouldn't uh, admit that out loud, but I really appreciate that, guys. Um, I do have another giveaway we're doing. Um, We, when we hit 50 followers, uh, then I'll go ahead and I'll give out some more free stuff then. Um, we're going to move into uh, an evaluation portion of this, so I'm going to break the stream real quick, and then we're going to come back and we're going to evaluate uh, Banish today. So we're going to go on a short break.